What a great way to learn more about the water quality in your stream. Look at your bugs. Hey, I'm Nicole. Welcome to Nature Time. In our area, there are three groups of insects that are known as stream water quality bio indicators. Those are caddis flies, mayflies, and stoneflies. All three of those groups of insects are so intolerant to pollution that if you find them in a stream, you know that you probably have an unpolluted, fairly clean stream. So caddis flies in particular are unique because they make these cases. And this one I found in the ripply part of this brook back here. And I'll show you another example. These cases are made out of particles of sand, pebbles, even fragments of vegetation like leaves. And they are all tied together with silk. So caddis flies are actually the great, great grandparents of butterflies and moths. So just like silk moths, they have this amazing ability to produce silk. So these cases act like protective shells, like a snail's shell, to protect the caddis flies as they're grazing on algae and the rocks in the stream, uh, grazing just like a cow. So just picture a tiny cow with a snail shell and you sort of have a caddis fly. Um, and when the caddis flies are complete eating, just like a very hungry caterpillar, they're had their full uh, fill, then they will seal up their shells and it'll act almost like a cocoon and they will pupate. Uh, so you can see this one has already left its case and when they do that they will merge through the water col column and go out into their terrestrial stage as adults. They will actually fly away. So they go from being completely underwater larvae uh, through a pupation stage to adults that can fly. Pretty amazing. So scientists are able to look at these uh, caddis flies, mayflies, and stoneflies under microscopes and can identify them down to the genus and species level. And using the ratios of the different species they find, they can identify more precisely the water quality in the stream. But for our quick look purposes, if we can find caddis flies as well as mayflies and stoneflies in a stream like this, then we know we have pretty decent water quality. So anyway, if you would like to learn more, please check out the resources below and tune in to the next Nature Time.